Nearly 700 years ago, Wales experienced a wave of disease that killed as much as a quarter of the population. It took young and old, rich and poor, and even cows, sheep and pigs. The rural economy of Wales was devastated. Despite the scale of this disaster, we have only sketchy information about what happened when the Black Death swept from the Far East across Europe and arrived here in 1349. But it seems that this disaster would eventually trigger significant social change. The Black Death was probably a variation of bubonic plague, although people still argue about it. It's thought to have been carried by rats and the bites of fleas. It could be spread in several ways, including by aerosols from others breathing, just like coronavirus. At the time, the disease was called the pestilence. And it was truly horrible. There were three variations of the plague, ranging from a 50-50 hope of surviving to none at all. It caused symptoms including fevers and headaches and egg-sized swellings or buboes from which seeped blood and pus. The pestilence arrived at a time when many people were poor, weak and lived in unsanitary conditions. There had been years of cold weather with meagre harvests, as well as rebellions and war. It was a perfect time for a disease to run rampant. It's believed that the pestilence reached Wales on a boat at Carmarthen, then a busy river port. It quickly spread to neighbouring villages and onwards to Pembroke and Haverford West. Large-scale death meant mass burials in plague pits, such as is thought to exist in Carmarthen. Some communities were almost completely wiped out. Hollywell in North Wales was said to have been one of them. The horror of the pandemic and the despair that people felt was reflected in the European art of the time. And at that time, no one knew the cause. Some said it was a punishment from God. Others looked for scapegoats. Doctors tried to help. But treatments such as opening a vein to drain away blood must have made things worse. Some of the more bizarre attempts at cures included rubbing a chopped up snake on boils, eating arsenic and mercury, and even sitting in a sewer. Crucially, it seems likely that the plague hit the monasteries very hard, and that is why the Welsh monks who had recorded so much history left us so little about this epic disaster. The high death rate meant there were fewer people left to work the land, but the English crown had an expensive war with France to pay for, so taxes were raised and wages were suppressed. Taxes seem to have been very high in Wales. Desperate people fled to try their luck elsewhere. Many in England too were angry. At their landlords, the king, the church, and it eventually erupted a few decades later in the peasants' revolt. The feudal system of serfdom was being chipped away. Communities in various countries learned that isolating themselves from outside contact could save them. In Italy, sailors had to stay on board their ships before coming ashore. They had to wait 40 days or, in Italian, quarantena. And ever since, quarantine has been a useful way to suppress the spread of disease. Eventually, the Black Death receded. 300 years were to pass before a plague once again visited the towns and villages of Wales. Mm -hmm.